Reuters. It's in places like this that Chinese police say up to 1,000 children may have endured maiming and brutality in primitive brick kilns. This report appeared on China's state television, exposing a crackdown by authorities on underground slave trade. Police caught the owners of these prison-like kilns in Shaanxi and Henan province, where they ran their businesses with fierce dogs and brutal beatings. The workers were mostly young males, some of whom said they'd been kidnapped and forced to work. Images from the compound show workers sleeping on bricks and the doors to their quarters sealed from the outside with wire. Police commander Liu Lingzhong described the conditions. They had to get up at five, had 20 minutes for lunch. At night they were locked up. Children as young as eight were forced to work up to 14-hour days and were often subjected to beatings and given little food. One child explains how they were lured with promises of employment and high wages. When I asked them how much money each month, they said each month 1,300 won. That's the equivalent of 171 US dollars and a tempting offer for most in this province. But it's not only the children who suffered. The mental and physical damage inflicted on the older workers was clearly visible. Chinese media say an army of 35,000 police in central China have so far rescued 468 people, including dozens of children, from this kind of slave trade. Jennifer Rostiger, Reuters.